Hello, my name is Tom. Today I'll be working with a ProFace HMI that I have on loan. This is going to be a two-part project. In part one, I'm going to show you how to use the GP Pro EX software and the memory loader to download a project to your USB flash drive. And then, in part two, I am going to show you how to use that USB flash drive to plug into your ProFace HMI and download that project to the HMI without having to drag out the computer. Now I'm going to get started here and I'm going to scroll down and show you the materials that I'll be needing for today's project and also the project description. Now if you follow the hyperlinks it should take you directly to the item at the website where it's located. Now I have down a SanDisk Cruiser USB flash drive. I kind of figured that most flash drives would work. And I'm going to continue scrolling down here and show you this step-by-step -step guide that I have. But I'm going to scroll kind of quickly through here because I'll be performing this in a few seconds. So I'm done here, and so I'm going to come here and bring the software up since I already have a project open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get started here, and I'm going to come up here and click on Transfer Project. And it opens up this transfer tool here. So what I want to do is come down here to the Memory Loader button and click here. And it opens up another window here for the Memory Loader. And what I'd like to do is just create a backup file to store onto my flash drive. I'm going to click Create Backup File button here. Then I'm going to come down here to where the radio button for USB is not checked. I want to make sure that this is checked. And I can come over here to Browse and browse for my flash drive. So I'm going to come to Computer. And my flash drive is right here. It's the removable disk F. I'm going to click on that. And then click OK. Make sure that it's highlighted. And it puts the drive here. So I'm going to click OK. And as you can see, I am presently downloading the project to my flash drive. This should take about a minute. It's kind of a large project. Now you may not see this, but this is actually scrolling past pretty quickly. Okay, so my download is complete. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close these windows out here. Since I'm done with them. And I'm going to come back here to my project. And what I want to do is I want to show you on my flash drive that the project has been saved to my flash drive. So that's about it here for part one of this video. And if you like it, let me know, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next video.